All right, switching gears now and taking a live look at the blank space of Akershore Stadium, where anticipation is growing for Taylor Swift's concert on Saturday night. And just moments ago, the city wrapped up a press conference addressing their plans for public safety this weekend. Chris Hoffman was at that announcement and joins us now with what officials are expecting for the weekend. Chris. Well, Christine, it wouldn't be Pittsburgh unless we got six events going all on at the same time. You have Juneteenth going on in downtown and Point State Park. Then you obviously have Taylor Swift going on over on the North Shore. And this is expected to bring tens of thousands of people. Roughly Juneteenth is expected to have about 10 or so thousand people. Uh, probably almost close to 100,000 between Taylor Swift being over on the North Shore. So this weekend, Pittsburgh Public Safety says they have about 200 officers that will be in use between uh, downtown and the North Shore. Uh, they will also be having parking restrictions. They're telling people if you do not have a ticket to the concert, do not park on the North Shore. There will be no on street parking. Parking lots are for the concert goers only. They're also recommending if you don't have a concert, try to stay away just to not add to the congestion that's already going to be over there. There will also be some street closures with the Juneteenth parade as well. Um, again, as for that staffing, it's going to be a few hundred officers. Take a listen right now to Chief Larry Scarral describe the amount of manpower they're going to have to make sure everything goes off without a hitch. Friday, Saturday, the stadium has a Inside approximately 50 officers, there'll be 25 outside. Our entire special deployment division is deployed for this event for the entire weekend. So it'll affect about 200 of our officers throughout the weekend. Yeah, again, 200 officers there between the North Shore and downtown really focused on those two areas for such a large event. And again, there will be road closures in place. There will also be river rescue. They'll be out too. They realize there's going to be so many people out boating. So there's going to be a lot of action. They're going to have a lot of uh, agencies involved. It's not just going to be Pittsburgh Police. It's also going to be State Police as well as the Allegheny County Police and Allegheny County Sheriff's Department. Now, coming up this afternoon, we're going to break this down a lot more in a lot more detail. We'll see you then on air and online. Live in downtown this afternoon, Chris Hoffman, KDKA TV News.